Please subscribe Sporta TV for more information. MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. Marc Marquez continues to toy with the idea of leaving Honda for Ducati ahead of the 2024 MotoGP season. Still with so much of the 2023 MotoGP campaign left to run, the eight-time world champion is still yet to announce his plans whilst those around him have made big moves already. Alex Rins to Yamaha, Marco Bezzecchi staying with Muni VR46 and Johan Zarco to LCR Honda are some of the biggest signings ahead of next season. But perhaps the biggest move is still yet to come as Marquez has been heavily linked with a switch to Ducati. Not Pramac as the seat alongside Jorge Martin looks set to go the way of Franco Morbidelli, but instead it's the Grazzini ride alongside brother Alex. Some believe Marquez is lapping up the talk around him but plans to stay at Honda, however, other MotoGP circles think a switch to Grazzini is not only realistic, but the most likely outcome. Marquez leaving Honda would be a shock, while also making Ducati a near-unbeatable force given the talents and form that Francesco Bagnaia, Martin and Bezzecchi have been in of late. But what would it do to Honda, who even with the mercurial talents of Marquez are struggling to score top 10 finishes? Firstly, Marquez leaving Honda would result in the Japanese manufacturer losing a rider that is nearly impossible to replace, while also giving them an even bigger rebuild job to do in terms of direction and ideas on how to improve. But in terms of riding moves, Marquez joining Ducati would likely mean Zarco goes to Repsol as opposed to LCR. That would then leave the second LCR seat alongside Takaki Nakagami open to Iker Lekwona. A Moto2 rider could also be of interest to Honda, however, it's thought that Lekwona could be the rider set to join Honda permanently if Marquez jumps ship. Honda's first 2024 RC213V sample at the Mizano test was underwhelming for all its riders and Marquez might not want to put up with another year of lackluster results, hefty crash numbers and risks of injuries. Honda themselves appear to be confident that Marquez will stay, while the Spaniard has always maintained that he has a contract until the end of 2024, but that hasn't stopped him flirting with the idea on social media. If Marquez does move to Ducati, expect the Italian manufacturer to be even stronger and Honda to find themselves in even bigger trouble next season. Time I'm moving, like uh, I'm nervous. On the other hand, Santi Hernandez and Marquez have been a closely knit duo in MotoGP over the past few years. Their partnership has seen many successes, and more recently, some disappointments. However, these setbacks haven't diminished Hernandez's pleasure in sharing the garage with the former world champion. The chief mechanic of the Spanish star began by recalling the surprise when Marquez wanted him by his side. Speaking to Honda's documentary, Behind the Dream, Hernandez said, When Mark, after we had worked together in Moto2 since 2011, wanted me by his side to make the jump to MotoGP, it was a huge surprise. I wasn't expecting it. I had no experience in MotoGP, and it was a dream to be part of this family. Santi Hernandez believes that many other participants in the championship deserve to win titles as well. He considers himself fortunate but also acknowledges that he has gone through very challenging times. He particularly recalls Marquez's crash at the start of 2020, stating, I believe that many other mechanics deserve a world title. Of course, you need a lot of passion and tenacity, but above all, I was lucky to work with a winning rider, with many glorious seasons. We also suffered at the bottom of the table after winning so many titles. Mark's accident and all the complications made us feel bad, but I am proud to have worked for HRC for 10 years. As well, but... On the other hand, Lynn Jarvis, a seasoned figure in the Yamaha MotoGP team, has experienced a myriad of situations and worked with various writers over the years. In a recent interview with Michelle Turco, Jarvis discussed Yamaha's current state, the sentiments of their star writer Fabio Cordero, and the evolving dynamics of the MotoGP championship. Jarvis addressed the recent interview of Fabio Cordero with Autosport, where the writer expressed his dissatisfaction with the team's performance. Fabio Cordero hinted that if there aren't significant improvements, he might not give Yamaha a second chance. Jarvis mentioned that he read the interview to understand if the headlines truly reflected Cordero's sentiments.
He recognized Cordero's frustration, especially given the team's underwhelming performance this season. However, Jarvis clarified that there was nothing in Cordero's comments that warranted any sanctions or could harm the brand. The interview took place before the Mizano tests. When asked if these tests would be pivotal for Cordero's decision to continue with Yamaha, Jarvis responded that it wouldn't make sense to make a decision based on a test that's a year and a half before the concerned season. However, he acknowledged that the test would be essential to determine the team's direction. Jarvis, with his vast experience in MotoGP, was asked if he believes the mentality of riders has changed over the years. He opined that the mentality hasn't necessarily changed, but the balance between a rider's influence and the bike's performance has. With the field becoming more homogeneous in terms of riders and bikes, the influence of the rider on performance isn't the same as before. He noted that some riders, who weren't at the forefront a few years ago, are now shining in MotoGP. The crux of the interview revolved around Yamaha's current situation in MotoGP. Jarvis reminisced about the times when Yamaha and Honda dominated the championship, sharing successes alternately. However, he pointed out a recent technological shift where European manufacturers, especially Ducati, have taken the lead. While Yamaha continued on its established path, European manufacturers made significant progress. Jarvis highlighted that while Yamaha remained stagnant, the Europeans, led by Ducati's Gigi Daligna, continued to advance. In conclusion, Jarvis's insights provide a clear picture of the challenges Yamaha faces and the evolving landscape of MotoGP. The team will undoubtedly be looking to address these challenges and return to their winning ways in the upcoming races.